Hi, my name is William Ari Wolf. Uh, Ari is uh, from Holland, Dutch. My grandfather came here in 1895. Wolf is German, and Grandpa Wolf came here about the same time. We lived in San Jose at 407 North 4th Street. I was born at O'Connor's Hospital on January 12th, 1939, long time ago. And where we lived on 4th Street, uh, the house was owned by the Richmond Chase Cannery and the Niles Milpitas branch of the Southern Pacific Railroad crossed between the cannery and our house. And so we were very close to the railroad tracks. And as a little boy, I was at the window 24-7, it seemed like, watching troop trains, trains with guns and tanks passing by. And I lived there with my mother, and her name was Lorraine Wolf, and my father was William Waldo Wolf. He worked at the uh, printing company, uh, oh, I just forgot the name of it. it, it'll come back to me. Anyway, uh, on Stockton Avenue, and he made pretty good wage. He uh, wanted a new car every year. My mom wanted a house because the ha house we lived in was an old 1860 Victorian house that had been turned into two apartments. And we lived upstairs with my older sister, Augabelle, who was seven years older. And downstairs, my father's parents, Grandpa and Grandma Wolf lived. And with the railroad going 24-7, uh, it was uh, not a pleasant place to live. And so one night, my father brought home my future stepfather from a bar, bring a soldier or sailor home for dinner. And he was in the Seabees, he was a carpenter, he was from Georgia, and his name was William Edward Stone. And he took a liking to my mother, and my mom said, if you build me a house, I'll marry you. Well, guess what happened? So that was the end of my dad. And so they got married about 1945. And they came to Los Gatos and bought two lots on San Mateo Avenue for uh, $600 each for the lots. And they got a Lindsay prefab house for uh, $9,000. And he spent two years in his spare time and weekends building the house. And we moved here to Los Gatos in uh, June of 1948. And of course, my heart was broken because there are no more trains every five minutes going by our house. But I discovered these little miniature railroad tracks on Winchester and Dave's Avenue, and it turned out to be Billy Jones' miniature Wildcat Railroad. And so I went up there with their permission, and I lived up there the rest of the time. I was almost his son, and helped him with his railroad, and. Billy Jones started out in uh, uh, Boulder Creek working for the South Pacific Coast Railroad, which was a three-foot gauge, narrow gauge railroad that ran from Alameda through Los Gatos to Santa Cruz with a branch to Boulder Creek. And he worked his way up, and the Southern Pacific Railroad had bought the South Pacific Coast in 1887 and started standard gauging it, and so he got a job working in the Santa Clara yards in about 1910 after the whole railroad had been standard gauge and worked his way up and by 1955 he was an engineer on the premier daylight passenger train from San Francisco to Los Angeles and his part went to San Luis Obispo where they changed crews. And so <clears throat> there were a group of men in in Los Gatos that were interested in railroads. And the only railroad clubs were in, in San Francisco. And so they decided to form their own railroad club in San Jose. And uh, they were involved with the uh, Times Observer newspaper, Jack Gibson, John Kerry, and so forth. And so they started the Central Coast Railroad Club and I became a charter member in 1952. And uh, so 
That's where I met Clyde Arbuckle, the San Jose historian, who uh, was working on history of San Jose and was going to write a book someday, which he finally did. And so he took me under his wing and said, railroads, you know, are very interesting, but the history of railroads is the history of everything else. So he started recommending books for me to read. I was going to the uh, University Avenue uh, Grammar School, which is now Old Town, and graduated from there in 1953, and then went to Los Gatos High School, graduated in 57. And then in, uh, I went to San Jose City College, and I uh, graduated from there in 1959. And my parents said, you gotta get a job. So I found this man in San Jose on Park Avenue, the Nelson brothers, uh, John Nelson and uh, Ivan Nelson, and they had Nelson furniture. Ivan did wood turning and made furniture, and, and uh, Robert Nelson, Bob Nelson, uh, did the refinishing. So they taught me how to refinish furniture and uh, the history of furniture and wood, and that was quite an education. Uh, also, I met at Los Gatos in the grammar school, backtrack a little bit, uh, this uh, uh, student in my class, and his name was Ronnie Machado. And he would come to school, I first met him in the sixth grade, and he was dressed like Roy Rogers in a leather outfit with fringe on his arms, coat, and so forth. And uh, I said, oh, you must like the Old West. He said, oh yeah, you should come see my collection that I have. And this is in the sixth grade. So we went up to his house in Loma Alta. They were, his parents were Portuguese and he was adopted by them and they spoiled him rotten. And it was a two-story Victorian house. They had completely furnished it in Victorian antiques, except for their bedroom and the kitchen. And I was overwhelmed. So I came home and I said, I have to have some antiques in my room. I wanted, uh, my stepdad couldn't afford to do it. I wanted naughty pieing walls. So I ended up having naughty ply board, which he stained to look like pine. And so I found in Saratoga, Ronnie took me to Saratoga to the Red Barn, uh, one third of a sideboard from James Flood's mansion in San Francisco. James Flood and James Fair had built the South Pacific Coast Railroad from Alameda through San Jose, Los Gatos, and over the mountains to Santa Cruz in 1880. And <clears throat> James Flood built a resort for himself up at Alma and it was a three-story Swiss chalet looking hotel that he would bring his friends from San Francisco and they would spend the weekend up there. And uh, he brought furniture from his mansion on California Street in San Francisco to furnish it. And then after he passed on, Dr. Tevis, who was a very well-to-do dentist in San Francisco had it. And then when he passed, it went to the Catholic Sisters and it became the Alma College. So in 1952, they were getting rid of some of this old furniture, and that's how I got that piece from the Red Barn in Saratoga, run by Neil, and brought it home, and my stepfather said, don't bring that piece of antique furniture into the house, you catch germs. Well, I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> Continuing Mr. Arbuckle, uh, as I said, he took me under his wing. The next year, in 1953, he took me uh, uh, with my parents. We went up to Columbia, and I became the youngest charter member of the California Conference of Historical Societies. And that really got me hooked into history. And I was reading history books. He would tell me what books to read. And I read Ben Cross History of California. And it went on and on. And of course, as I said, I worked at Nelson's Furniture. But they would have slow times. And so uh, 
I started looking for another job and a friend from City College, uh, his mother knew a nurse at Santa Clara County Hospital as it was called then and said, oh, they're hiring people over there. So I went over and filled out an application, pencil and paper. <laughs> and uh, so uh, they said, well, we'll call you. Well, two weeks later, I get a phone call and they said, we want you to come in. We'll teach you how to be an orderly in three days. <laughs> and you go on the graveyard shift on the medical floor. So that was my indoctrination at to the hospital. I stayed there for 62 years, and I just retired this July 2023. And so that was a long time. I was also the historian of the hospital, which goes back to 1850. And uh, so I've decided now I will be 85, January 12th, next year, 2024, and I've decided to part with my collection to the proper places. So I have given my Los Gatos things to the Los Gatos Museum, uh, San Jose things to the San Jose Museum, and my South Pacific Coast Railroad collection to the South Pacific Coast Railroad Historical Group up at Newark, California. And I feel better now that I've done it while I'm still alive than having somebody else trying to do it. And uh, so I guess that's the story of my life and I'm stuck with it. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm glad I get to be recorded. <laughs>